Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. My name is Brian. Today's tutorial is going to be on a question that was asked on the YouTube community uh, forums. It was asked by a member named Tom and he I believe is building an adventure map and his question was concerning opening a door using two pressure plates. He wants both pressure plates to be active in order for the door to open. So it, I've done it right here. You can see if I just toss uh, something over there and some, nothing happens when the first one's activated and something over here, that'll open the door. Picking up either one closes the door. So it's, it's fairly simplistic to do. We're going to use a basic logic gate called an AND. And an AND will only send an output signal if both of its uh, inputs are active. So if both the inputs are 1, it'll send an output of 1. If either of the outputs are are not active, then it won't. So we want to we want to uh, basically we're going to build our gate and we're going to build it underground. We don't want to have anything showing on the forums. Um, Tom had some images and he was showing uh, his redstone on the surface. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because they're going to see how to solve this fairly simplistically. You want to make sure you hide your redstone. Now, first of all. I'm going to build the AND gate, and I always like to use wool when I'm building redstone circuits, and that just shows me exactly where my redstone was, was in the first place, in case water gets down here or something like that and washes everything away. So you're going to start off by laying down a minimum of three wool or whatever block you're going to build with. This can be as long or, or as long as you want, and as short as three. You're going to add a redstone torch on top of the end pieces like that, and you're going to connect these two torches with some redstone. In the front of this, immediately below this one of the pieces of redstone, you're going to add another torch. So this is your output, and you can see that it is currently off, so I'm not sending any signal. And that's because this redstone torch is powering this, and this redstone torch is powering this, so therefore this block's been powered, and this redstone torch cannot be active. So the only way to turn on this redstone torch is to turn off both of these. So the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to add our, I'm going to add some wool over here, and we are going to add uh, the, that's our line to hit the uh, door, and we are going to add over here, we're going to add our pressure plates. So we're going to add, let's add uh, one there and one there, and let's take it down two. Uh, the way that pressure plates work is, I'm going to add them right to here. A pressure plate will only activ will activate the redstone immediately below it. So the a pressure plate that's active will turn on redstone that is one block block below. So let me show you. If I put that there and that there, and I in turn add redstone here, going directly into this block, and along here, going into that block, you'll be able to see that if I step on one of these pressure plates, my circuit becomes active and it turns off that torch. But it's still activated. The AND gate is still on because this torch is still active. Same thing on this side. Uh, actually, there's a delay there while, the, while we're switching, so it might open for a second. But the people still won't have time to run all the way across. So if you actually want to open this door now, the only way to do it is to toss one on there and one on here. With both of them active, our redstone torches go off and our circuit is powered. And it's really easy to hide this afterwards. You want to hide this. You want to make sure they're not seeing your redstone. So you're going to build up walls around it. Let's say like this. You know, obviously you're going to have your rules. Don't break anything in the, uh, in the game. Like that. You're just going to build up. You're just going to build up your walls around your door. You're going to hide your redstone completely. If the redstone's showing, this is pretty easy to figure out. So you want to make sure it's not showing. And you can add your flooring down below. Whatever material you want like so and you can see now that with this like this you're not going to be able to ever see what's going on underneath and the people will have to figure out and, and you know like I said it doesn't have to be only three long your AND gate can be much longer you can make it ten long or, or as long as the redstone itself is able to be powered like the redstone between the two torches is able to be powered you can make it that long and that way you could actually hide both these pressure plates if you wanted to you could put one on one side of the room and one in another room if you're making your adventure map like that. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, you can see now our door is completely hidden. <clears throat> sorry, our redstone is completely hidden. And sorry about uh, clearing my throat there. 
you can see our stuff is completely hidden and your adventurers are going to have to figure this out. So everyone, I hope, hope that was helpful. I hope that explained how to open that door. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button or let me know in the comments. If there's something you'd like to see or something you'd like to know more about, let me know in the comments as well and I'll try and do a tutorial on it. I also do a Let's Play series. It's finishing up now, the first Let's Play. Uh, so check it out. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot and have a great day.